Hello, thanks for joining us with me, Russell Kane and Saida Varsi. Coming up, ticket scams have shot up. I'll be talking to the woman fleeced out of 700 quid for fake Taylor Swift tickets. And which expert, Grace Farrell, is here. To also today, Danielle Lloyd is here after last night's Celebrity SAS final. Is it true you roped in your kids to help? We'll find out the story later. And almost half of all perfume sales are made in the run-up to Christmas. We challenged our coupon kid to sniff out some savings. Lovely. And something smells good in the kitchen. Or it will do when you start cooking. This there is it. Oh, I... <laughs> One just gasped in the lunch mix oh. then. <laughs> Welcome to Steph's Pack Lunch and Life of Leaves. <laughs> First today, my next guest was just 14 years old when an accident on a farm changed her life forever. Samantha. Hello, welcome back to Steph's Pack Lunch, live from Leeds with me, Russell Kinn. Scams have more than doubled in the past few years. I'll be meeting Melissa, who lost over £700 buying fake Taylor Swift seats. Plus, consumer expert Grace. Uh, talking of superstars, if you fancy smelling like one, then Jordan Cox has got them, by the way. <laughs> and uh, Theo's back with a winter warming dish, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, it's, this is, it's perfect for a cold night. I'm taking some gorgeous pork chops with marinade. A, a spectrum of extremes where you go, right, we're going to do a factual documentary and we're not... We're not do likes. you smell alike? Smell alike. Smell alike of the candles yeah. as well. So, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's lovely. I like it. And that is another huge saving. Hello, welcome back. Uh, it's time now for Get the Picture. This is our addictive daily puzzle game where one player is going to answer a series of picture questions to be in with a chance of winning an amazing prize this week. You could win a selection. Uh, right, let's see who we've got playing today. It's Richard from Middlesex. Hello, Richard. Hi, hi, Steph. You've picked a nice colourful backdrop there, haven't you? <laughs> well, I was told to uh, make it neutral. So oh, were you? Yeah, fair enough. Oh, I'd love to know what was up that you had to take down. <laughs> <laughs> um, Richard, am I right in thinking you're someone who, you know, likes to know where your money's going and it coming in and out. You've kept every pay slip, am I right, that you've ever had in your life? This is very true. This is my um, interesting fact. I've worked for a company for 37 and a half years and kept every single pay slip. How about that? Excellent. I hope there's been progress on the pay over those uh, <laughs> decades that you've worked there for them. Um, and what do you like at this game when you're, when you're playing at home? I guess pretty much like all the other contestants, it varies day to day, but three, four, maybe five, it, yeah. it just, it varies. Excellent. Well, given you are the first one this week, you'll be top of the leaderboard no matter what. <laughs> what number are you hoping is next to your name? Um, I think a five would be great, a four or a five. Yeah. Excellent, I like yeah. that. Right, let me remind you of the rules. You've got 60 seconds to get right as many questions as you can to put yourself on the leaderboard. On Friday, the top two players will play live in the studio for our grand prize. Right, let's go in. If you get stuck, you can pass, but you only get three passes, so use them wisely. Right, here we go, 60 seconds on the clock. Name the... Um, Paul. Oh. Just out there. Oh, congratulations. You got three there, though. So not far off the four. You said three, four or five. That's not too bad. Should we have a look at the ones you passed on? Yes, please. So the profession. I honestly thought you were going to get this because you kept saying hair. It was lunch mates, yeah. hairdresser. Yeah, you were close. Hair cabinet we had, which I know, could be a profession these days. The next one was the sauce. Did anyone get this, Theo? Did you get this? Oh. Tartar, oh, tar. yeah, so the same oh, picture tar. twice. Yeah, tar, there's a oh, guy tar. spreading tar on the ground there. And uh, the next one was the aircraft location. Cockpit. Yes, it was cockpit on that one. And then the final one, which we didn't have time, which was the holiday essential. No, it was swimming costume. Oh. Yeah, that was a tricky one though, wasn't it? Because you're looking at the little girl as the witch and thinking about that. Uh, but there we are, you've got three butts. Uh, Richard, that means you're top of the leaderboard with three at the moment. How OK, but I think I might not be seeing you in Leeds on Friday. Oh, well, you never know. Hopefully you will be. In the meantime, though, you've won a pack lunch mug. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Richard. Hopefully we will see you here on Friday. Get the picture, we'll be back tomorrow with a brand new contestant vying for their chance to win big. If you'd like the chance to play, all you need to do is email us, quiz at packlunch.tv. You've got to be 18 or over to apply. Right, what's this cheeky chops, Theo?